So yeah, the title isn't wrong. I've been consumed by Xenoblade for the last little bit, and more reasons than one, and I think these events are interesting enough to talk about here, so... It all started around two and a half-ish years ago, because that was roughly the time Smash Ultimate released, and seeing that I grew up playing one of the games to death... Brawl. It was Brawl I grew up playing. And now that I'm thinking about that, I'm starting to realize that may partially be what's wrong with me. <laughs> So anyways, Ultimate came out, and I acquired it, and had a blast with it. One thing I did because I felt like branching out and learning more about this game people were now singing the praises for so high that it could be heard from freaking Neptune, I would play every new character unlocked for at least one game, so I, like, if I knew, or I, if I liked what I was seeing, I'd, I would keep playing them. One of these characters I liked for his unique ability compared to anything else in the game, I found Shulk cool because his Monado arts. <laughs> Regardless of how good he is, I still enjoyed playing him, and eventually ended up thinking to myself what his franchise was like, so I looked it up and was not very keen on playing a Wii game with Melting Clay people, but I found that there was a Switch sequel, so I looked up if you needed to play the first to understand the second, and that's a goddamn lie! But I didn't know that at the time, so I played through most of the game and loved it. Yes, I say most of the game because I have this terrible habit with JRPGs where I play most of the game, and then I just say, I've seen enough and put down the game forever. I did this with Dragon Quest XI where I literally was on a flying whale about to enter the final dungeon, and then I just said, I'll leave that for another day. And that day is yet to come. <laughs> So that was my experience with Xenoblade for about a year. Unfinished, plus I accidentally bought Torna thinking it was the base game and only realized at like an hour in, and I was, I was very confused. So when's that diver kid gonna show up? So an amazing series not given the time of day by a dumb 13 year old boy until... I saw this and was like, sure, I'll get it, and that was... That was that, at least until the release date got nearer and nearer, and I got more and more excited, until the game finally launched, and I didn't get it for like two months, because why wouldn't I do something like that? But I finally got the game, and was even more entranced than with the second game. I loved every fight I fought, every line of dialogue spoken, and I had to keep myself playing more and more each day, because I just wanted to enjoy the game for as long as possible. I kept a steady pace, experiencing the story content, right until the Fallen Arm, where I stopped playing the game for five months. <laughs> I will carry my shame to my grave, where it will rest with me for an eternity. But to my own surprise, after a while I hopped back in and troopered on like nothing had happened until I finally beat the game. After that I was like, time for future connected, and can you guess where I- <laughs> And can you guess when I started that? the next day. I know, I know, the bar was set and I jumped over it. Thank you, thank you. Hold the applause. I ended up loving Future Connected more than most of the base game actually because there was like a sense of exploration and there was less hand-holding, a neat little story, and most importantly... Making for excellent support roles. I played the thing over the span of a week, 100%ing it, with every side quest upon, collected, all that stuff, main story done, so I moved on. And I don't know if this next part is like fully accurate of a timeline, but I'm gonna... Here we go. <laughs> A little something happened while I was finishing the base game which drew in a bit of attention of newcomers to the series. I'd wager you all know what that is, but I'll roll the clip anyways. I got an invitation to join Smash! <gasps> Smash Bros. It always comes back to Smash Bros. Goddamn Smash Bros. After this, it seemed like Xenoblade was getting tons of recognition and even more memes. So I thought to myself then, why don't I replay Xenoblade 2 after I finished Definitive just for the fun of it? So I kept moving on, beat the game, you know, yada yada, and then I was on to the sequel. Because I knew all the twists and turns of Xenoblade 2, not relating to the tree, I decided I'd play Torna first, and I'm glad I did. It felt more like a bow tie on a gift rather than another gift, just like Future Connected did, and I liked that. And this is also where I was introduced to my favorite character in the whole series. The culmination of years of sovereignty. So after Torna, I replayed the main game and loved it even more than my first playthrough, if you can even call it a playthrough. But as I was playing through the game, I thought I'd join in on those memes, so I, 
I, I guess you know where this goes, right? <laughs> I watch way too many of those damn things and it's become a problem, so why not make them? Also, I beat Xenoblade 2 at the 99 hour mark and have since logged over 35 more hours, so yeah, I think this game's becoming a bit of a problem for me. Maybe I should find someone else to blame so that I don't have to come to terms with the fact that this series has consumed me. I blame Half Full. But that's the end of the story. Now I make Xenoblade memes here on Yum Eggs and I'm at 16 subs. And counting. Down. Counting down. Someone un someone unsubbed recently. Don't really care. I, I did at first, actually. I kind of. It kind of took me off. It caught me off guard at first, but I kind of just come to terms with it. It's, it's gonna happen, you know? Just let it happen. But when I saw it for the first time, my brain went. I know the overall tone of this video has kind of been me going, Ah, oh, goddamn, I play too much of this game! But honestly, as I was getting all the footage for this and going through all the places in game, it kind of just hit me that it happened because I liked the game so much and I'm actually alright with that. So, I'm gonna stop complaining about the game for a while. Yep, I've said it and I gotta stick with it now.